Hello everyone, Shinto Bean here playing some more Warhammer Combat Cards Campaign Mode. This is the second campaign of the week. We're playing as Space Marines against Tyranids. And there are no new cards in this campaign. Instead, you can get four different portraits. Now, these are just cosmetic items. And if you make it to the end, the final tier, you will be entered into a drawing where you have a chance to win the legendary Eisenhorn card. It's a very rare card which is unique because uh, you can't actually level him up. At level 1, he is at max stats. He's a very powerful card, but I'm not getting my hopes up. I've been playing for a year and a half, and I still do not have him in my collection. But each Ultramarine card in your deck adds more to your score for these missions. Um, it's pretty easy to get 4,000 points, I think. Um, I ran a full keyword deck here, uh, but I will say Captain Akron, he's not the most fun to play as... Once you start getting to the higher levels, I think Tolmeron um, can deal a lot more damage uh, with his ranged units. But for this battle, we, we are going to go all out with the Ultramarines. Uh, mostly ranged bodyguards, but I do have uh, Tigurius in here for the psychic damage, uh, as well as this Reaver for some melee damage towards the end. Let's go ahead and deploy. In this campaign, I have been facing uh, uh, the Turvagon. I think more than any other warlord and a lot of people like playing against the turvagon and here he is once again uh, so that they can farm those termagants and get the bonus points but I personally do not like playing against the turvagon the games take a lot longer and because of the the low um, points that you need for the missions here it's really not even necessary to play against the turvagon so Honestly, I'm getting kind of bored with this campaign already. I don't think I'm going to play it till the end. But I will try to get through this match as fast as possible. Uh, just to show you what it's like playing against the Turvagon. So, we're putting down our ranged guys at the beginning. We do have the initiative. Luckily, no Termagant at the beginning. So we can just start blasting away at uh, their bodyguards. Got the Centurion Devastator. This thing used to be uh, quite a bit better, I think. They did nerf it several times. Doesn't quite deal as much damage. Okay, so they got a Lictor and that first Termagant on the field, targeting my Infiltrator on the right. And they're going Psychic, but the Magus is not getting any buff from his Psychic Link uh, trait. And we can continue shooting away with no resistance. The Suppressor taking out that Termagant in one shot. So yeah, level 19 AI. And the Turvagon now has Psionic Blast. So it is actually fairly strong once it's on the field. If you were playing as uh, Lieutenant Tomaran, um, you definitely want your bodyguards to be doing the work, and uh, it's when you're against the Turvagon, you do have to try to take out um, the you know the bodyguards with your strongest units. Uh, if they get stuck in a lane against an endless uh, loop of Termagants, uh, that can that can be an issue. And I almost lost one game actually uh, as Captain Acheron because that happened. Uh, Tigurius was on the field, but. Uh, they just kept throwing termagants at him, and I couldn't get to the Warlord. Did manage to win, but uh, it was a pretty close one. Alright, I'm going to put down uh, this guy over here, the Eradicator. He has Big Game Hunter, so he'll be a little bit uh, better against the um, this thing, the Tyrannocyte. Although the Centurion is kind of wasting its uh, damage on the right lane. Alright, let's see what they throw out next. Three more bodyguards, including the Termagant. And every time that Termagant deploys, it'll be getting some extra damage in with its precision shot. However, uh, they are not going ranged against my superior firepower. The Suppressor does go down, and we can move the Centurion back into the center lane, I think. Uh, we'll put this guy down for some inspiring presence. Increase our damage output just a little bit. Let's see. 
46. Not quite enough to take down uh, that Gene Steeler dude in the center. Although, actually, the Barrage took out the Termagant, so we were able to take him down. Yeah, this guy, I do have him at a pretty high level. I used him quite a bit uh, early on. These days, I don't actually use him uh, in favor of some of the other um, Barrage units. The Aggressors are pretty good options for Tolmeron. Now they are going for the ranged attack, dealing a fair bit of damage there. Got a Tyranid Warrior on the field. That is the last of their bodyguards. And I've actually been getting quite a quite a lot out of this Centurion because of the Barrage. We're going to go ahead and deploy our Tactical Marine. I just noticed this recently, but this is like the older model for Space Marines. And I never really realized how weird the proportions were compared to like the newer models. Look at this. The size of his head compared to the rest of his body compared to this walking trash can. Tiny head, massive body. Just an interesting uh, change in the aesthetic of the models over time. All right, we're actually able to take out all of the bodyguards. This is uh, very going very nicely. So the Turvagon will be deploying with its ter Termagant. And looks like the Termagant is on the right side. It's their turn, so the Psionic Blast. Again, it's only triggering on their turn now dealing four damage to all my units and they are going psychic centurion is destroyed and let's go ahead and deploy our psyker tigris has uh, two shields and we can go with a charged up psychic attack here 142 damage that is not bad at all then on their turn, the Psionic Blast will take out the other, uh, the remaining shield. But they can no longer choose the Psychic option, so they're going for melee. And, uh, yeah, I gotta say, uh, this worked out very nicely. Captain Akron did not even have to deploy to the field, he's just been sitting back watching, and he is sitting at 283 health. Alright, let's finish this. It was actually one of the quicker games against the Turbogon. I did not attempt to do any Termagant farming there. Just played it through. But yeah, from here on out, I think I will switch to some other Warlords. I might try out Captain... Uh, or watch Captain Artemis just to see how he does in the campaign. Although, I don't think he would be very good against the Turbogon because of all those Termagants. Um, I think Lieutenant Tolmeron would be the uh, best option just for pure damage output so uh, that's it for this campaign uh, let me know what you think of it as you can see i am using the new portrait for eisenhorn looks all right uh, but yeah that's it for this one thanks for watching and i will see you next time